I'm Jamie Snow, and the truck is a 1999 Classic XL Freightliner. It's a 353-inch wheelbase. The sleeper is 190 inches. I bought the truck in uh, 2000, 2005, so I've had it for 13 years. It was a bone stock Classic XL, and it had a 70-inch condo sleeper. Okay. had a Series 60 Detroit engine in it. And at that time, it had a 10-speed uh, transmission wheelbase was 260 inch wheelbase okay. didn't have an extra light didn't have extra really anything it was just a clean yeah. you know nice um, just stock truck yep. but it was yep. a good good platform to start with yeah. and yep. at that time that's what I was looking for I wasn't looking you know I, this was never sure I, I never had this picture in my head until it just grew and grew and grew <laughs> okay. with the family and as time went on now tell me how this sleeper came to be is this a, is this an extension of what was already there it is a, so the first part is the original 70 inch condo uh, so the roof the smooth rounded lines yep. is the factory 70 inch condo and then uh, we stretched the sleeper in 2012 to 130 inches okay. and then in 2015 we stretched it again another 60 inches and made it what it is today a 190. Wow. and it started based off of the 70 inch condo i like the ability of standing up out of the seat sure and with the overhead space and uh, i knew that i wanted to stay with that type package rather than going to a day cap type and then putting a sleeper on it the hood is a uh, it's a jones performance hood that we added the eight inch cal induction hood scoop to i uh, got the head the idea for the headlights i like the old buicks and right. the, the, the uh, uh, Cadillacs with the over and under round headlights. Yep. So I, I kind of want, and my favorite body style on a Chevy is an over and under square headlight. Okay, yeah. Square body Chevy. So I've always liked that over and under look. Right. Never seen it on a truck except for an international. And uh, so I wanted to carry it over into this. Something a little different. Right. It's, it's kind of hard to get new, fresh ideas on these because so many people have good ideas. Right. So I just, just little touches of things that I like. Yeah. And then uh, when, when I met my wife, uh, of course, then she had her her touch on it as well, and the interior and everything is all joint designed by herself. Cool. Me and me and my wife. So cool. um, I've actually got myself. I've got uh, three other. I've got three trucks total. Oh, okay. And then I have two owner operators. Cool. cool. Doing all dry freight. Um, we do like I own this trailer, and uh, then my other guys they own their own. And then I've got two cab overs that are project trucks got one that's done it's an 83 right it's uh it's almost the same as the one my dad started in in 77 oh cool so i kind of does nostalgic i bought yeah. it yeah. built it up to kind of give a throwback to sure. where things actually started because you know being uh being raised in a trucking family that, that was the picture in my head was cab overs yeah. it's just what i like